right, then technique step three. We have one octave arpeggios, hands together, and this is with the first note being a white key. So C is the same fingering, but just to show you. Now, since this is the technique step and not just the pattern, let's talk about the technique a little bit. I didn't in the last video, I was just showing you the fingering, but with an arpeggio, we have this wrist motion that's from side to side. We don't want it to be too pronounced, so when we go fast, we're not gonna be able to move much. If we did, it'd be clumsy. So a lot of people, when they're beginning this, they're gonna go all the way up and they wanna see their thumb, and they'll play their thumb on, I don't know if you can see that, but they'll play their thumb on the head. Um, you know, they might do it really big like that. So we wanna have this sneaky thumb, and I'm pointing my knuckles, see I'm turning my hand, pointing my knuckles in the direction of travel. So I'm gonna kind of point while my wrist's going and my thumb's gonna sneak under here, okay? If I can, if your hand's large enough, you wanna do that legato. And then just pointing out what the thumb's doing. See, my knuckles are going in the direction of travel. So I'm already, I'm not just here and then deciding to go over. I am slowly moving my hand over every note. So that's the biggest motion, but I don't have to move from here all the way to there, because I'm already here by that time. So once again, I'm moving all the time, and then I switch my knuckles and I'm pointing more down the piano. So that could take days, weeks, months, depending on how old you are, how big your hands are, how naturally that comes to you. Be patient with your body. Take as long as you need to master it. You're only doing one octave though, so you'll really get into that when you do two octaves and you have that cross. But I thought I'd show you what's coming out. But for now, just practice this wrist. I'm never collapsing my fingers. And that was something I should have emphasized in the first step when we're doing this. We don't want to collapse any of those fingers. We want them to stay firm on this first joint. Always and forever. <laughs>